What's going on, y'all? This guy Piz on. I am my usual fiery self today because a line has been drawn in the sand, and you're on e you're you're either on this side or you're on that side. There's no in between. There's no in between because there's a lot of people in the national media who do a lot of talking for the New York Football Giants. There's a lot. Of fans, okay, fans who think they're journalists, who think they're scouts, who think they're general managers, who are out here telling you the New York Giants need to trade for Deshaun Watson because Daniel Jones apparently can't get the job done. We are not willing to give Daniel Jones the weapons to be successful in the National Football League. No, we would rather pick our fucking boogers and trade first round after first round draft pick for Deshaun Watson. And while we're at it, we want to give up Saquon too. Because we are nothing more than cleat chasing geeks. I want to thank Big Blue in the Bronx who you need to go subscribe to here on YouTube. For constantly feeding Copizzle information every single day of all these booger eating geeks. Because at this point, it's hard for Pizzle to even keep up. It's hard for Pizzle to even keep up. And I hope that you, as the content consumer, are collecting receipts, are writing down names of who, of these individuals who have told you that Daniel Jones, the quarterback of the team that you apparently love so much, can't get the job done. So that when Daniel Jones does lead the New York Giants to the postseason, does win the New York Giants playoff games, you can show these receipts to these geeks. I can't stand to watch the Twitter brigade March their ass over here on YouTube, and a guy like the Entertainer, for example, who's who's established himself so nicely here on YouTube, gives these booger eating geeks a platform to spew their garbage. Have some fucking balls, Entertainer, and tell these fuckers to get lost. Grow a sack for the New York Football Giants for once. I am so sick and damn tired of all the garbage, clickbait bullshit that we as a fan base have to listen to all because our team doesn't have a record or hasn't done something at the standard of, of what people expect. We're going through a day. We're, we're, we're at the very end of a rebuild. We're literally a fucking a playmaker on the offensive side of way. We're literally a cornerback and just one, maybe one little edge rusher away from being legit contenders. Legit! And we want to give a shit ton away. We're not in a position to even consider that. I need that first round draft pick. I need next year's. I don't need to just give it away and be a fucking clean chasing geek. I need it. I'm this damn close. Why the hell I want to go that damn close? I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. You know, I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand. Uh, what 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 did I what did I what did I want did I did I not watch the games or something like I, I showed frustration with Daniel Jones last year absolutely absolutely but in the games that he was not there or the games that he was for sure hurt the offense couldn't do anything if it wasn't for Evan Ingram sorry ass we would have won more games not because of Daniel Jones it wasn't Daniel Jones. Overly just costing us that game. It was Evan Ingram. And I'm going to tell you something else that bothers me because I know some of you, this is about race. And this is the truth. Some of you black guys out there, 
and, and, and let's don't let's don't get uncomfortable because I've I've played multiple Madden games here on YouTube. I haven't said one racist thing to a black guy, but I've had multiple black guys call me a trailer tra trailer park trash white boy, bitch ass white boy. I've had racism thrown on me and pistols handled it like a sixty minute man, tough as fucking nails. Okay, but some of you black guys out there. You guys want to make this trade only because the fact that Deshaun Watson is black. That's the truth. Because you think he can just ball athletically better than Daniel Jones. You don't understand that football is a fucking team game. This in the this in the National National Basketball Association where there's only five fuckers on the court. There's we got a 53 man roster, 11 people. We need a one man leading 10 others. And you guys want to make this about skin color half the time, and you don't want to talk about it. You don't want to be. You don't want to be truthful about it. But the fact is, is most of the time black guys think that black guys can ball better than white boys. That's just that's always been a fact. They literally made a fucking movie about it. White men can't jump. Okay, and some of you need to get your garbage fucking mindset out of this. And leave Daniel Jones the hell alone and let him develop in this offseason. Continue to develop and lead this team to where they fucking belong, you geeks!